I want to talk to you today about some geometric insights that I've come up with in hopes that it will help you have a more intuitive understanding of geometric series. Um, so first, let's start off with the sum, a half plus a quarter plus an eighth, bup, bup, bup. If you take a rectangle and you say that this rectangle is an area of one, and then you split it in half, then you'll have a remainder here. If you split this remainder in half, then you'll have a remainder here. And if you split this in half, then you'll have a remainder there. As you can see, you keep splitting it in half, and the remainder gets half as small until the remainder reaches zero. There is your sum. The area of the rectangle, which is one, is your sum plus the remainder. Now we said that the remainder tends towards zero. So the area of the rectangle equals the sum. Now if we take a third, then we could do the same thing with a rectangle. Let's say this rectangle is an area of one again. And if we split it into thirds, then you'll have two thirds and a remaining third. Now, if you take this remaining third and you split that into thirds, then you'll have thirds squared. And then the remainder will also be a ninth. And then if you split this into thirds again, you'll have two one twenty sevenths, and you'll have a remainder. And so as you can see, the remainder tends towards zero. And so what you end up happening, having is two sets of the series. You have the series twice. Um, and if you add all this up, you get one, because this rectangle is an area of one. Um, and so you get that if you multiply the series by two, um, then you get one. And so then, of course, if you divide both sides by two, you get that the sum is one half. Um, okay, one more example. Let's do it with a fourth. So once again, we're going to have a rectangle of area one, and we're going to divide it into quarters, and then we'll have three quarters and the remainder. And if we divide this remainder into quarters, then we will have three sixteenths and a remainder. Once again, you divide the remainder. And so as you can see, the remainder tends towards zero. And so then you basically have this series repeated three times, because a quarter is repeated three times, a sixteenth is repeated three times, and sixty-fourths are going to be repeated three times. So you have this series um, repeated three times, and what you get then is three times this is one. Because we said at the start that the area of this rectangle is one. So divide both sides by three, and you get that the area, the sum is one third. So Hopefully, it's pretty intuitive if you wrap your head around it that um, if you split a rectangle into k pieces, the sum of that will be 1 over k minus 1. Okay, so really think about it um, until it sinks in. And let's use a rectangle to prove that. Let's split it into k pieces. So, we will have k minus 1 pieces of area 1 over k. Then we'll have a remainder. Let's split that remainder into k pieces. And then we will have k minus 1 pieces of an area of 1 over k squared. Right? So basically, we have this series of, which is, you know, 1 over k plus 1 over k squared plus 1 over k cubed, blah, blah, blah. We have that repeated k minus 1 times. So k minus 1 times this guy is 1. And that's how you get the, the original. If you divide both sides by k minus 1, you get 1 over k minus 1. Um, now, I hope that you have a geometric understanding of this, because this formula can then get you the geometric um, sum formula. Now, our first element is 1 over k. So we could say that t of 1 is 1 over k. 1 over k also happens to be the ratio, because every element is 1 over k times the previous element. Um, so you can also say that 1 over r is k. Um, <clears throat> so let's do some substituting. 
substitute 1 over k for r and k for 1 over r. And we get this. Once again, you can substitute r for t of 1. And then you get the sum formula. Yay! So I'm sure someone else has already come up with this before me, but I still wanted to share it because I think having a geometric understanding, an intuitive understanding that way, um, is important instead of just memorizing formulas. Um, and I know you can derive this you know, through algebra, but, but still, it never felt that intuitive to me until I was able to prove it to myself geometrically. I hope you have a more intuitive and geometric understanding of geometric series so that when you're solving for these sums, um, you can see sliced rectangles in your head.